We're now hearing from family members whose loved ones are at a Round Rock nursing home where there are 81 newly confirmed cases of COVID-19. It is one of the largest outbreaks our KXAN investigators have independently confirmed so far. One family who lost a father tells KXAN's Avery Travis they think more could have been done sooner. His dad was a very, very kind man. He was funny. Larry Benningfield's dad was a longtime Round Rock resident, but last week he died in his Round Rock nursing home, San Gabriel Rehabilitation. Larry tried to call and talk to his dad. He wasn't doing okay. It's like he kept falling asleep on the phone and wasn't alert and wasn't okay. The couple knew he'd been tested for COVID back in May and was negative, but without being able to see him, they say that's about all they knew. We got a hold of an aide we'd never spoken to before and said, oh yeah, his vitals are fine. He's fine. And we never got to talk to him again after that. Just days after his death, they learned everyone in the facility was tested and there was an outbreak. I was shocked. I was shocked too. The facility did mass testing on July 8th and they say that's what alerted them to all of these positive cases. But their administrator says this testing will actually help them tackle COVID-19 in a more targeted way inside. For the Benningfields, the testing came too late. They don't know what their dad's cause of death ultimately was. Why haven't they been doing testing of all of their staff and their patients all through this? I don't know if my dad suffered or anything. They knew that he was dying, but I don't know if he died peacefully or how it happened. They didn't provide us any information. <clears throat> but the facility says they understand the importance of communication and are striving to be transparent with residents and families. Avery Travis, KXAN News. The Benning Fields filed a complaint with the state of Texas about what they call a lack of communication in their father's final days. Anyone with concerns about their loved one's treatment in a nursing home can do that or reach out to the state's long-term care ombudsman.